Michaela to lie down flat. Um, I'm going to pretend that I have a light that I can shine across her like this. I'm going to ask her to slightly turn her head away from me. And what I'm looking for is, is obvious pulsations here in the neck that could be bounding or shouldn't be there at all. Now, since I don't have the light, I'm going to come down to neck level and just look with my eyes and I can see a pulsation here. And I can see a pulsation here. I, I don't see any any viciousness in the flow. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my rulers and I'm going to measure her, her jugular vein distension, which really she doesn't have any, but we're going to pretend that she does. So I'm going to take this ruler and place it approximately here. I'm going to take this ruler and place it at the jugular vein level and where these meet it should be at a 45 degree angle no greater than two centimeters and it is not I can see a slight pulsation here at her st sternal notch and I can palpate it now I'm going to ask you to look the other way just so I can quickly examine this side Okay, same thing, no turbulent, but I can see the, the slight EV, EV, excuse me, even flow in the pulsation of her jugular veins. So next I'm going to listen or assess her heart. So I'm going to, um, keeping her draped of course, and she has a tank top on. Just gonna take that down like that. And, and the first thing I'm going to uh, simply look for is a heave or a lift in her chest. A heave or a lift in her chest would indicate an atrophied, atrophied ventricle, and it would be rather obvious as it, it would rise all on its own and it wouldn't be a breathe, breathing movement. So, again, with her, there, there is no heave or lift, but I still find it advantageous to the examiner to come down to the level. Next, I'm going to palpate the chest. I'm going to find the point of maximal impulse, which should be in the fourth or fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. Okay. And then I'm just going to easily feel around at the base of the heart, coming up the left sternal border. And what I'm assessing for is abnormal pulsations that should not be present. And I do not feel any at all. So next I'm going to auscultate her heart in the modified Z pattern. I'm going to clean my stethoscope. All right. That's a little cold. <laughs> I'm also, although I'm not directly over the valves, I'm listening for aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. I can hear S1, S2, and no additional heart sounds. No murmur. No rub. All right. I'm going to cover my patient and this Part, this section is complete and we will proceed to extremities.